Sula Braverman had said this morning that she would have more to say about her removal later on, but there's a sort of grassroots movement and uh, orchestrated by uh, individuals in uh, GB News, Talk TV and uh, on the right wing who are trying to persuade MPs to put in letters of... Um, uh, letters of a loss of confidence, letters of no confidence uh, into the 1922 committee in the hope they can trigger a, uh, a, another leadership election. You know, these people must actually be... They, I, I, I was going to say they must be lemmings uh, or they must be... Uh, lem lemmings, the, the lemming story is so interesting because apparently Walt Disney uh, herded a whole stack of lemmings off a cliff to prove a point. Lemmings don't jump off cliffs. But uh, turkeys voting for Christmas. Absolutely. And uh, David Campbell Bannerman uh, has been has been one of those who I think has uh, has been fermenting discord. Here we go again, he writes on social media. Wheels are turny, turning. Rishi has pressed the self-destruct button and uh, MPs need to step up get those letters in and save the party from an existential threat the existential threat is I think called survival but you know David uh, David Campbell Bannerman who is the chairman of the grassroots conservative democratic organization the CDO it sounds like something that you take after uh, after a heavy night of drinking isn't it or or, or maybe it's um it's inserted anally and uh, so David Campbell, David Campbell Bannerman. Uh, there's, um, uh, he says, Suella has been sacked. Let us in, please. Now's the time. Uh, Lord Crudus, who's the president of the CDO. Um, the, the, these are allies of, of Boris Johnson as well. Oh, uh, the coup is complete. Remain has won and democracy has lost. Well, I think given the given the um, success of uh, the Leave vote, given the success of Brexit, uh, and I, I still ask people to name the achievements of Brexit. What has it actually achieved? What good has it brought? Given the success of that, um, I think um, I think Rishi Sunak has been very mild in his move forward, and. You know, let's let's see how let's see how this pans out. But um, Andrea Jenkins, of course, she of the one-fingered salute is is equally aggressive. Um, you know, what, what does she actually say? She says, "I support Suella Braverman, sacked for speaking the truth. Bad call for Rishi caving into the left." Um, Suella Braverman. Uh, oh yes, she's quoting Suella Braverman in in in, in her Twitter thing, um, but uh, Suella Braverman was saying this can't go on week by week. The streets of London are being polluted by hate, violence, and anti-Semitism. Members of the public are being mobbed and intimidated. Jewish people, in particular, feel threatened. Further action is necessary. Um, that was part of her effort to uh, hold on to power late last night. She put out these three tweets. But, uh, you know, there are elements of truth in what she says. There are always elements of truth in a lie. But the, it, it's her solution to the problem which is wrong, not necessarily her identification of the problem. The problem is there. And, yes, I, 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 I understand. Um, and uh, I've said a few times, I have friends who call me who were in, in the St. John's um, St. John's Wood um, synagogue and we're extremely anxious and with uh, and, and they were anxious with good reason um, because people were letting off fireworks outside uh, smoke bombs and bits and pieces and uh, intimidating slogans and sneers and shouts and we shouldn't be frightened in our own country uh, that's one thing, but this, the other thing is we should have, we, we we should have the right to protest. I personally, I've I've made it very clear um, that I think that the 
the um, the tradition of marching, the tradition of sending in petitions, is is no longer effective. It's no longer efficacious. I, I think it might come back in some form, but at the moment, it is so overwhelmed by the containment laws that are now in in existence that it no longer has that value. And we need to think of other ways to get people to listen, to get people to talk, to get people to discuss, because that's what we need to do. And maybe now with social media and with the advantages in our forms of communication, we can get people round tables, maybe in small groups. But big changes happen from small groups, and it's it, it, it's in small groups that we need to get together and we need to uh, think through these problems, not just banging slogans uh, out, not just chanting, uh, you know, like some sort of chorus, programmed chorus. We need to be engaging with our minds. I think the Conservative Party, the right wing of the Conservative Party, has long been in need of that sort of engagement too.